What's up guys, it's Duke back here from sportsgamers.com and today we got a game changing Madden 20 tip I'm going to drop for y'all. I'm going to break down how to completely lock up the mobile quarterback rollouts in Madden 20 to prevent them from throwing rollout corners, rollout crossers, or any other route you know that's going to rely on the rollout that's really annoying to stop in Madden 20. So recently I showed you guys a coverage that did very well against rollout corners and corners in general. I actually want to show you guys how you can stop this from actually a blitzing defense and just prevent them from rolling out, period. Like, they're not going to be able to roll out at all against this defense, which is going to prevent them from even having a chance to throw those annoying corners, crossers, deep bombs, all that stuff that, uh, you know, people like to roll out with this year. So this is something you can do from a lot of formations on defense. I can show you guys, you know, examples from several formations, but, you know, I like to use the Jets playbook on defense, and I want to look at the Big Dime. Um, you know, the Big Dime, very popular formation. I put some tips up about this. So I want to show you guys what I do to deal with the mobile quarterback. Now, we're going to, I got the Chiefs, so I have Mahomes because he's a glitch on regs. And I want to look at this gun bunch because, you know, for passing wise, this is a very, very common offense that people love. And you're going to see this a lot. And this is one of the more common ones where people have the rollout down pat. So, play I'm going to look at is going to be this DB Sting 2 Buzz. Now, before we show you guys the tip I want to show you, I kind of just want to break down how the rollout works and what happens if you go up against someone who knows how to basically uh, get you know the, the cut block animation every time with the running back to roll out, and then what we can do to counter this. So, before we get into it, I do want to remind you guys to please subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button in the corner of the video. And also make sure you turn your notifications on. That way when our videos go live, you won't miss out. And I promise you guys, you don't want to miss out on the great content we post daily. Now, if you want more Madden 20 content, premium content for offense and defense in the meantime, you can check out sportsgamers.com. We have the best ebooks and tips available, and we will continue this into Madden 21 as well. So, all that said, I want to go over the tip. So... Right off the bat, you guys know that, you know, from the big dime, you know, there's some really good blitz packages like this, and, you know, it gets really good pressure. The thing about these blitzes is uh, that, basically, if someone knows uh, the best way to block these, they can pretty much roll out on these, um, you know, unless, unless you uh, essentially know how to glitch out the O-line with your user. Uh, they can roll out on this, and one of the most common ways to do it from bunch and formations in general is to get the running back to chop block. So they, most people will max protect and slide away from the running back and then ID the side of the running back, and they pretty much know when they do this, for the most part, they're going to be able to get that guy chop blocked, or at least blocked just like that, and then they can roll out and look to throw their bomb or playmaker route or whatever they're looking to do. So we want to be able to prevent this. Now, the thing you guys need to understand when trying to counter this is all of this is the offense is predicated upon basically knowing your blitz setup, who's blitzing, who's on contains, and all that. So, the thing is, by now, it's very common, you know, people play these blitzes so much, they know exactly who's coming. So, what I do to counter this is basically changes on the blitz angle and who's on the contain. This might sound simple, but it literally changes everything. So, like, for example... With this blitz, you know, normally you move the corners in and, they're, and you get both of the corners on the contains, right? But what I do when I see someone that's just a rollout monster who just literally wants to roll out nonstop is I just, well, I still slide these DBs in. Granted, I, you know, I don't want them all the way out here. But I slide them in a step. But what it, I do is actually, instead of keeping them on the contain, I keep them on the blitz angle. Now, this changes things because now, yeah, we're still sending seven. And we'll still get people coming free, but the thing is, since we've changed on the contain and it's no longer the corner on the contain, it's actually this uh, linebacker or edge player on the contain on both sides. If they try to roll out, yeah, they'll be able to get this corner blocked with the same protection, but as soon as they try to roll out, this guy right here or this guy right here, he's going to come off the block and he's going to sack us. So let's take a look at how this works. Now, obviously, in a game, I would, I would use her the safety, but you know, we're not worried about that now. I just want to show you guys how this rollout tactic will not no longer work. So we can do the same thing, max protect, slide protect, ID. And you're going to see that because we change who's on the contain, granted that DB will still come free, but so, see as soon as we try to roll out, that edge player comes off his block and sacks us. So there's really 
no way for the offense to even know we've done this because we're still sliding the corners in. And, you know, we just have them a hair out, a hair wider than normal so that he's now on the blitz angle not to contain. So what's going to happen is you're still going to get this pressure coming free. The running back's still going to have to block it. And you're thinking, okay, same blitz. The running back's blocked and let me just roll out. And generally this would work, but it's not going to work here because, again, this time the corner's actually on the blitz angle and this edge player's on the contain. So as soon as you see this and you try to roll out, this guy, he's going to come off his, his block immediately and, you know, we're going to be sacked outside of the pocket, and we're not going to really have anywhere to go. So you guys can see from, from the perspective of the defender, if you take a look at it, you know, he has got outside leverage pretty much on this uh, tackle. So as soon as we see the rollout, because he's on a contain, he's going to disengage, and he's going to come after the quarterback, be able to get that sack or tackle in the backfield, or he maybe even force interception if they get greedy. So this is something you can do from other formations too. It's not just um, you know the big dime. You could do this from any formation where you got a blitz like this. All you need to do is have the players that are normally on the contains on blitz angles, and that just that, again that just changes the way everything is going to get blocked. So like here, um, we can do the exact same thing. Remember, all you have to do is just slightly slide them out. So now they're they're, they're on blitz angles and not contains. Now, from a formation like this, it's a little more obvious, I would say, because it's linebackers and not slot corners. So, you know, this is not something I would... Rec I, that's why I like to do it the most from Big Dime, because I feel like it's a lot less obvious when you do it from Big Dime. But, again, the same thing we could do. You know, we try to go ahead and get outside the pocket, and you're going to see that, you know, that's not going to work because, you know, the Blitzer's still coming free from the outside, but instead of the actual guy coming free being on the contain... Now we have the, the player that's far further to the inside actually on the contain. So you guys can see the same thing happened here. We got the player off the edge, the running back blocked him, and we're like, okay, you know, okay, we can roll out now, except for we can't, because as soon as we try to roll out, this guy's waiting for us, and we're able to get the sack. Or, you know, basically there's nowhere to go, so I'm just trying to get, escape the pressure, and we eventually end up taking the sack. Now, getting back to the big dime, I want to show you guys that even if they try to like get away from you on the tight end side, you know, it's still going to be able to, you know, have the same effect in this and you're not going to be able to do that either. So if they do something like this, again, we're going to do the same exact blitz. I'm just going to make sure that the corners are actually on blitz angles and not contains. All right, so let's take a look. So another way people might try to block this would be to do something like this. And you're going to see this is not going to work either. Okay. You can see we're going to try to come to the outside, and it's, it's, we're not going to be able to get away. You know, that blocking scheme is not going to work either. In order for them to be able to have any sort of shot to get outside of this, they're essentially going to have to block eight people. Um, and again, that's all because that we've changed who's actually on the contain. So no longer do we have the outermost slot corner on the contain, but now we have the uh, edge rusher on the contain. All right. So you guys can see, again, we're just slightly moving them in. So they're, you know, still going to come free, but they're actually on blitz angles and not contains. Very important. Now, something that they might try to do at this point is maybe they do the whole, you know, max protect, and then they even motion this guy in right here. So they block, they only have two routes. Now, as soon as you see this, you guys know that that's what they're doing. So you're going to want to take your user and you're going to want to uh, basically blitz with your user if you see them only send out two routes. That's the only thing they can really do. And you guys can see here that, you know, if they do this, because they'll even have an extra blocker over there, they can get outside. So I, it's kind of hard to show this in a tip because I can't really roll out with the offense and then user rush at the same time. But that's going to be your user, the safety in the box. And if you see that they do the motion blocking, so they only have two routes now, what you're going to want to do is as soon as you see this, and I didn't do this here because, again, I can't do two things at once. But as soon as you see this, you guys see that's my user. Basically, you're going to want to use a rush around the corner, and that way you'll be able to sack them before they can even roll out. So basically, you want to meet them at their predetermined rollout spot and use a rush them when you see they, they do this and they only have two routes on the field because... This will, if they do do this, they will, as you guys can see here, they will be able to roll out to the motion receiver side. So that's really the only counter that they can do. But if you see that and you take your user and user rush around the outside to kind of like meet them in the backfield, you'll, you'll be able to take care of it. And I want to show you guys exactly what I mean 
So, uh, you know, granted, I'm not going to be able to roll out, you know, but I can actually show you what I mean. And I'm going to do that right here. So, again, we're going to set everything up the same. Again, the key here is we make sure that our slots are actually on blitz angles and not contains. Again, that changes the way our blocking works, and that does not allow them to just easily roll out. So, again, let's say that I see them doing this, and they're going to motion this guy in. Once I see that motion, I'm immediately taking off of my user around the corner to meet them at their rollout spot that's pretty much predetermined. Now, obviously, like I said, I can't roll out with a quarterback and user rush at the same time, so this is just to give you a good idea. If I see that motion and I see that they're only sending two guys out on the route, I know that if they want to, they're probably going to be able to get around the corner. Well, this time they couldn't because I got a shed. But if that didn't happen, they would have been able to get around the corner. So I'm going to manly rush around that corner, and I'm pretty much going to meet them there. Because the thing you have to realize is these rollouts are pretty much a predetermined thing, and you can get a lot of sacks that way. And once you do that once or twice, they're going to be scared to even do that. So then you can kind of play a chess match of if you're going to manly rush them or not. But this is definitely something that will be huge for you guys because, like I said, all these little blocking schemes to get rollouts and chop blocks and all that, or cut blocks or whatever, are always based upon knowing who's blitzing, who's on a contain, who's not. So as soon as you change things up, it changes everything, and they're no longer going to be able to just roll out at will, and you're not going to be able to even roll out at all once you master this. So take it to the lab. I hope this helps.